today I have a small Timu. Yes, there's only two products in here. I had to get this and I uh, wanted to get it right away. So I got two things because you have to be over, you know, $10 or whatever. And I wanted to make sure. So, um, yeah. So we got these, they came yesterday. I wasn't able to do it yesterday. Um, yeah. So today we're going to check this out. Okay guys, so here we go. We're gonna open this one up. <clears throat> and it's not gonna be too difficult or too complicated, I don't think. Um, let me see. Okay, we're gonna do the first one. The first one's for my mother. Now, I got her a power bank. And uh, I'll bring it up so you can see it a little bit better. And this is the back of it. it comes in plastic. I got her the power blank, bank, sorry, um, to go with, if y'all remember, her blanket. Now, she has a little hole in this blanket where you can put a power bank in. But I didn't really have one, and I was going to buy one of these warmer things, but she doesn't need it. She, she needs a power bank. So, you hook the power bank in here, and there's your little cord. And you can walk around with her heating blanket. It wraps around her shoulders. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it at the very end so you guys can check it out. So let's see. I don't know if this is powered or not. So we'll have to check it out um, and see. So um, I paid $10.98 for this power bank. So, um, yeah. But I wanted her to have it so she can use the blanket like you're supposed to, you know. And, uh, yeah, and I didn't realize, oh, i got to have a power bank for that. And I thought the blanket had to just be charged to the wall. And then once it charged, it held its charge for so long and kept it warm. That's what I was thinking. But it doesn't do that. So, this is. I'm sure everybody knows what a power bank is. It gives you your cord. There's your cord. It gives you a little manual. There's your manual. Um, let's see, smart mobile power. So, let's see. It tells you how to charge it and how to maintain it and precautions and security features. So, um, yeah. Is this English? I think it's all English. It looks like it is. So, there you go. And, uh, it looks nice and slick. Cute, huh? Now, most of the time, um, Timu has their stuff already, um, powered. So, that is so... That's really nice. Ooh, I like the feel of it too. It's very nice and thin and slick. And it should fit in the pocket just fine. So let's take this little doodad off here and see. Is there a power button? Or, I don't know. It has two here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Yeah, you got two of them, I guess. So you can do two cell phones? course we're gonna put this in there and it fits in there I guess it should <coughs> excuse me of course I cough cough all the time terrible it's because of one of the medications I'm on it causes that yeah all right let's see there's a button over here or something I don't know I hope this is going to work. Uh, I don't know if it will or not. Maybe it's only for some... Oh, there it goes. I got it in there now. Okay. But, yeah. And it's working. It has the little blue light on there. I don't know if you can see it. There's the blue light. So it is working. It's cool. I like how they always charge things for you. It's nice. So you don't have to wait all the time. You know? So you just plug it in once it's charged up. 
and going to put it in the hole right here. It has Velcro there, and we're just going to stick it in there. And we're going to put it on. And what I'm going to do, now this is supposed to, um, you can put it around your shoulders. I'll show you, just in case you guys never saw it in the other video. I think this is cool for my mom. She's always cold, even with the air conditioner on. I'm trying to put this on, and then I'll bring you guys down so you guys can see. So you just put it around your shoulders, and you can zip it up, or you can leave it long, and you can put it just as a lap blanket, and turn it on that way. So let's see if it's gonna work for you. And that power bank is nice, it's sitting there. All right, so I got it on now. There we go. That's how it looks. I'm sure you guys saw this before. So, um, hold the button. Let's see. Hmm. Might have to wait a few minutes because this thing's probably dead. Oh, there it goes. There's the button. Now give it a few minutes and see if I can feel the warmth in there. It's a nice blanket. It's gorgeous. Even with it not using the heat, you know, you just want to use it as a regular blanket. It's, it's very nice. And just wrap it around you like that. Especially for people up north, you know, it's, it's a nice cozy thing. Um, you know, she'll use this a lot, I think. Because, um, you know, she, she uh, gets cold with the air conditioner on. And she's cold in the winter time. She's got poor circulation. So, I think this will work out really good. So, yeah. I think this is cute. I haven't felt it yet, so it might take a few minutes. So we're going to do the next one while we're doing this, okay? So I'm going to put this down, and we'll see how the warmth is. I like the power bank. I do like that one. So I'm going to put this in here real quick. And then we'll get on to the next one. All right. The next one is for my new camera. I got a new tripod for it. And the reason I got this is because the tripod I have, I like it. It has a nice little handle on it and, and stuff. But this one does all kinds of stuff. It's $13.58. I can use it small, I can use it as a selfie stick, I can use this as a full tripod, or a half tripod. So I thought this would be so handy, I can put my camera on this and I can just adjust it to whatever I want, and it's supposed to be light. I guess it's lightweighted. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, yeah, comes in plastic. This is the way it looks. It was a little crumpled, so you guys can see it. Do I have that upside down? Yeah. Sorry, guys. There you go. Before I open it. And, uh, yeah. There's the back of it. And I did pay $13.58 for this, if I didn't say it before. I have short-term memory loss, so sometimes I repeat myself. You probably notice. It's from the uh, car accident I was in. So, yeah. So, here we go. We're going to open this up. I hope it's going to work the way I want. Oh, this has got a nice grip on it. Cute. Oh, nice. Okay, it's got directions right here. Taped on there. Let's see what it says. Oh, you push it? I have no idea. Hmm. You push down here. Does that mean these come out? I don't know. Uh, let me see. Let me read this and I'll come right back. Okay, guys, there's a button down here and you just open it up. Push that little button and it will come out as a little tripod. Isn't that cute? And you can also close it, and I can use it just as a handheld. I can do that. And I think it comes out more, I believe. It's 
supposed to extend to. Yeah. Maybe you have to twist it. I have no idea. I guess I should have looked a little bit harder. I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. There we go. So you just push that and it'll go up. So you could use it like on the table, you know, and then you push it probably again, pull it again. It should go up more. Yeah, shoot. Um, yeah, it's supposed to go taller. You just gotta play with it, I guess. Hmm, does this extend? No. And then it has a, um, it has a little twisty thing here for your, for your camera. Now I'm getting hot in this stained blanket, so I feel it. I can feel the warmth in it. This goes over here. So you can put your camera on there, I guess. Yeah. So... We'll have to see how it looks with the camera and how I put it on there. But you can see how it's supposed to adjust. And you can go up higher. So if it goes higher than this, I just haven't got it there yet. I don't know. Of course, I'm probably doing something wrong. And it's probably something very simple. Let's see. Take this off here. I want to get it higher. Yeah, I want to. I want to see it higher than this. I know it goes higher. It has to. Is there a button? Just this button. Maybe this. Oh, there we go. You hit that button again. And it takes me a little bit to figure it out, and then it goes up like that um let's see there you go and they'll go up that high should go higher but maybe it don't oh it should I, if it's only going to do that i'm going to be disappointed yeah hmm because i thought it was going to be like as tall as mine you know It says GoPro extension tripod. Four extension adjustable stable shooting. And that one. You got one, two, um, three, and four. I bet you this is as high as it goes. No, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I kind of disappointed in that. And I'll have to see. If my um try it my my camera should go on here it should I do like the feel of it I feel the grip and stuff but this is as high as it's gonna go uh, I don't know I was hoping it would go higher like the the size of the tripod I have so then all I have to do is have one and that's it I don't know. But it is very compact, you know. Yeah, this seems to be the highest it goes is right there. So it's very, I mean, light. I was hoping it would go higher than that. I don't know. I, I really did think it was going to do that. So, and I mean, you can do all different levels. So, But I can do levels on this one. But the thing is with this one, it's heavy and you can't just use it as a... Um, handheld one you know and sometimes that's all you need is a handheld one i don't want to break this sucker um yeah you must just poke them back in oh well anyways um yeah so i mean if you just want a small one this would be great for you know i still probably use it um but it's not going to eliminate the tripod i have it's not going to get rid of it because there's times I need the bigger one and um, yeah so uh, now at least this is compact once I get back down to where it was supposed to be uh, yeah so it doesn't want to close maybe because it's new you know it's stiff 
I don't know. I don't want to break it either. If it clicks and then maybe it closes. I don't know. I got this part, but no problem. This should close back up. There it goes. Kind of. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I got it. It's just a little stiff, I think, from being new. But see, I can use it like this if I want to go outside and do something like that. So I like it. It's got a nice grip on it. Um, but I'm disappointed in it, too, because I really thought it was going to be as high as this one. So all I had to do was carry this, put it in my little bag I have, and um, not have to worry about another one. So now I'm still, like if we go camping or something, I'm still going to have to bring a big top tripod with us. Yeah. But um, this will be great for like table and stuff and, do, and doing this. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm kind of disappointed. But there you go. So I'm sweating. It is working. And as you can see, the button has changed color, so it's gone down to cooling because it heats up and then it goes to a cooling more steady thing. Oh, yeah. I'm actually sweating. So it is working. That's great. I like it. I hope my mom likes it. Let's see, it changes color here. I mean, I think that one's low. So once you get it warm, you really could just turn it down a little bit and keep it on. Very nice. I like the power bank a lot. Yeah. And I like this too. I'm just a little disappointed in it. But that's it, you guys. That's all I have for right now. I hope you enjoy the video. And um, yeah, so um, I have another one coming. Yes, it's coming. Um, it probably won't be here for another week, I don't think. But I got some few other little things we can do in, in between um yeah so I did this video on my own my mom's not feeling good again um yeah and it was only two things so I figured I'd do this one by myself so yeah but I like this really a lot she's I can you know for someone who's really cold is really gonna love this just gotta have a power bank for it if I had known that I thought if I had known one and probably read better I probably would have known I needed a power bank and I would have, should have bought it then but I got it now so no big deal anyways I'll see you guys in the next one take care everyone and have a great weekend okay guys I, I got my camera on there so um I know you guys can't really see see it because I'd have to use another camera but it would be nice to be able to do my diamond painting and you guys will be able to see it a lot better. Um, it will be good for that or anything um, I'm doing at the table. It'll be really nice to do. Um, yeah, that's as tall as it goes. I, I really thought it was going to be a lot taller, but it's not. And it's too bad. It really is because I really, I do like it. It's not that I don't, but... Um, you know so and then what you do you bring it down and bring it down a little bit so and you can bring it and adjust it so you know you're doing the table I'm just kind of showing you a little bit here I know the scenery is not the best that's my backyard back there it's a mess and I'm gonna have to start getting out there and start cleaning it's not gonna be fun either and then you know you click it again and you bring it down lower again and then you're like that, a little bit lower. And then I think that, oh, it goes down one more time in there. And, um, you know, that's really small. And see, I can adjust it. I can move it up and down, as you can tell. So that's kind of nice. I like that feature. And then when I get really, what I want to do is go outside, which I'll do in just a second. I'll push this button again. Yeah, it's it's a little stiff trying to get it to um, come down hold on okay I got it now so when you when you want to do the handheld and you got to push it up you just don't hit the button again you just push it up and it'll slide up so there you go there's my um, tripod right there so 
That's the one I use all the time. So, and I like it because it has a handle on it, and I hook my fishing stuff here when I go fishing, so it don't fall over. Now I couldn't use this one. This it is too small for that. Um, yeah, but this is not going to be horrible. It's just I was disappointed in it. So I'll walk around outside for a minute and see how well it works. You know, for stabilization and see, you know. I mean, oof, you can't see nothing out here, can you? You're overexposed again. I don't know what's going on with that. I think we just need to adjust it a little bit. Yeah, let's see. So I'm not going to go too far. You won't be able to see anything. Well, maybe that that's good right there. Now let me see. Yeah, so there you go. Maybe it just takes a little bit for it to adjust from being inside and outside. There we go. Yeah, much better. So I'll walk around a little bit. Yeah, mm, my yard's a mess. It's a mess. So that with all the rain and everything and the wind, it's been horrible. So you can't get anything done. So here, so, that's not bad. Yeah, this will be nice to hold. There's my flag I got up. We are working on the roof, y'all. I have a program that I'm trying to get, well, I am kind of in it, but I haven't been fully approved for, for the roof yet. I had to send in a bunch of information they needed. And what they do, that it's a government thing and they pay so much a year to help out others that need roof impair, repairs or they will do put windows in for you. If you need a hot water tank, they will do that and it doesn't cost you anything. So, um, yeah. So I went on that because I am not working. I have been out of work for a while because of the car accident and stuff. So, um, yeah. So, I don't have the money to pay for the roof. And as you can tell, in Chamber, I think he did a video on the hole up there. But the tarp has been holding. That's our second tarp up there. Um, yeah, so hopefully I get fully approved. Um, and the uh, ball will be rolling on that. I, I really hope I get it. Um, you know, it's I've been on the list for... Um, I would say almost three years and I really didn't think they were going to call me but somebody told me about it so I put my name on the list and a, the guy that came to inspect the house they go inside and out of your house and see what really needs to be done the, the worst and what they said they could do my roof and put in a walk-in shower and maybe I might have enough left over to do probably these two windows. From I don't think they'll do the bathroom window. But um, they might be able to do my mom's window and the living room window and update them. So we'll see. It's, it's still in the wash yet. So um, yeah. But I am going to be very happy if I just get my roof done. That's my most important thing. Um, yeah. And it's scary because you don't have the extra money to, to pour in. I mean, it costs a lot of money for that. And um, so, yeah. It's not a big house, but still, they I had two quotes on it, I think. And they were like $20,000 because the plywood is it needs to be replaced. And probably, I don't know if the whole house of the plywood needs to be replaced. And they won't know until they tear it all up. But this guy who came, he said it was about 13000 He figures he could get it done for 13000 So, we will see. We will see. So, I still have to be fully approved. So, we, we, we will get excited when, when um, they tell me to come in the office and sign the paperwork. <laughs> So the guy's working on it now for me. So that's it guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I just wanted to put this in there so you guys could kind of get an idea of, of the grip. Look at the leaves. I gotta clean this all up. I'll mulch them up with a lawnmower. I might do blow these leaves off. These leaves are getting in my house and driving me crazy. So I might just blow this off today. But see, a lot of it's wet. 
and they won't move if it's wet so and you just track them in it's terrible anyways that's it guys so stay tuned we'll have more you see that pollen Ugh, pollen is out it is spring and there's my Easter um, thing yeah so that's good yeah so anyways guys that's it we will we'll be back when we get the another Timu haul or I do some diamond painting okay my Kasish out bye y'all okay guys I just wanted to show you it's a selfie stick um, yeah so I guess you can turn it this way there you go there yeah. for a selfie stick that'll work good I think so um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys so you guys saw the selfie part too um, yeah I needed a new selfie stick I had one and I bought it at Dollar Tree I believe a long time ago and I've used it well well used it um, yeah but this will be much handier yep cool beans okay guys Thank you.